Okay, we're starting off strong with a nice hearty tea pose. I'm not really sure why this is happening. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. It's a... Oh, it ended. Damn. I was really enjoying that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 9 of the Power World series. But in today's episode, I'm thinking... Do we have a bird yet? I'm thinking that the goal is to find the next place to base. Because we need a place to set up a bunch of ranches. So we can have the pals produce resources for us. And I believe one such good place would be the Desolate Church. Because if I remember correctly, when I came around the back here... Catch me outside? How about that? Yes, I am right. A nice batch of ore. And also a free pal sphere over here. Mm -hmm, spheres. So, I think I'm going to put my base somewhere around this area. But first, we have to clear out the locals. The flax. What the flack is this about? 80%? Mm, sure. You're mine. Oh, don't die on me now. I almost killed the poor thing. And it's mine. Hooray. Now we gotta figure out the upper limit. The range of the PAL base, which, wait, did I even bring the resources needed to craft that? Uh, I hope I have them. Let's see if we can't pick up some stones on the ground, a little bit of wood. I think if I put the base, or the PAL base thing, somewhere around this area right here that I'm standing on, should... <laughs> wait a moment. When I jump, the deer jumps, and <laughs> we just look so jovial, so happy. I think I'll put it somewhere around here. Do I have my ass? I do. Is this the metal one? I'm not cutting with the wood one again. Yeah. Let's get some of this and get the beginnings of our base set up. For that, we're going to need at least enough wood to build a few squares. Maybe nine? Sure. A three by three. Then we'll put the pal deck. Pal. What is it called again? I don't remember. Pal box. On top of that. First things first. Foundations. Well, if you build outside of a base, it tells you that your things can break. Cool. At least they're kind enough to let you know. Let's get it as close to the stone as possible without actually getting close enough that they would make the stone despawn. Hey, hey dear, don't be a problem, child. We've got enough of those. Yeah, let's make this nice and big. As big as possible. We got plenty of wood around to continue the process. Oh boy, you can build the foundations right inside the ground. <laughs> this, is that, yeah, okay. Very unusual. Now I need to make this relatively large because I want to... First off, have this near metal, which it is. Hooray. We're going to need a lot of ore eventually, but that's actually not the primary focus of this base. This base is going to be a bunch of ranches to be putting those Vixie things in. The ones that produce the PAL spheres, I want to produce thousands, absolute ludicrous amounts of spheres. Ooh, a boar. Mm, you're definitely going to be mine. Let's get the sphere. Oh crap, there's two of them. Three of them? Oh, I do not do much damage. But I bet my deer does. Ouch! How about one of these? Yeah, okay, he does damage. Let's get the bow back out. Oh, don't die on me. Also, stop running yourself off the cliff. <laughs> you absolute dork. Now I'm gonna have both of you. There we go. Alright. What do you think you're doing? Get back in there. You will be my friend. See, I told you. Let's get right back up here and get back to collecting a bit of wood for this big old base. Now, speaking of which, I can just throw the deer at trees. You, get that. Are you gonna, are you gonna get it or are you just gonna run in circles? What is wrong with you? Try it again. Go. Can't be assigned, excuse me. What about that one? Go. Hmm, this deer is inept. Well, I guess I'll have to do it myself then. Get enough to almost over encumber myself and then get back to building. That should probably be enough wood. At least I hope so. If I need more than this, then we've got a problem. Also, I gotta level up. I guess you do get little tiny amounts of XP from cutting trees. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for at least 150 stamina, and then the rest can go into health. Also, these trees are in the way, so I suppose I'll get rid of them too. At least maintain a bit of consistency. Can I put more foundations here? Yeah. All right. Now, I'm hoping I can fill this in because I know the pals have a habit of getting stuck on things. I don't want to give them an opportunity to fall down off the corner of the base and then just hang out. Oop, I didn't want to build that one. Break that. Now, we should bring this back a bit more. Just a bit. Also, apparently I'm hungry. Starving, even. I'm dying. Help, I'm dying. 
berries. Me and all of my friends are simply starving to death. Like you do. <laughs> Alright, put the deer away. I like to throw them out while I'm working in case I get attacked by something. The pals will retaliate for me so I can continue working. Mm. Stone, you're in my way. And I could probably use stone. Certainly wouldn't hurt to have it. I probably need it to craft a couple of the things that I'm going to be making here. Man, stamina really is an issue. And carry weight. Luckily, they did have that patch that made it so that you can walk while over encumbered. Just not by an insane margin. But where, oh where? Oh, pal box, right here. Hmm? Let's go ahead and break down this tree. Apparently it's stopping me from crafting my pal box. Which is no bueno. Really living on the edge. That was almost enough to put me over encumbered. Or get me over encumbered. Whatever. Let's put this here and see if that's close enough. Gotta check the boundary. Where is this boundary? Yes, this seems to get all of the metal. This being the closest one, or furthest one, whatever. So, we're done here. Actually, eh, no, I don't need to put more foundations there. <laughs> yes, progress. All right, now we're gonna wanna fill this with something while we're waiting, I guess. We don't have too many tombats, do we? One, two, and they're both bad. Well, neutral at best. More of these rush ores. Hmm. Well, that's not the objective of this particular bit anyway. Let's get most of these trees. Wait, no, my carry weight. I can't do that. First things first, let's put a storage next to this thing. Wooden chest. It's the closest spot that I can put it. Right here? Right in front of it, actually. Right here. That'd do. I guess I'll help him craft it. I would like the job to get done properly. The only way that happens is if I'm the one doing it. Oh, let's put all the wood and stone and pallium, etc. in there. Screw it. Dump some of the eggs, too. They're very heavy. Very heavy. We need a bit more space and get back to building. I want to make this multiple floors. And there's a reason for that. I swear there's a reason. Actually, you know what? Maybe this shouldn't be, be made of wood. I know. Because, well, I, I'm on the internet, it's not like I can avoid seeing everything about the game, but I know that things can catch on fire, and it's not pretty. So I think I might have to swap most of this over to stone instead. Which is doable, because there is stone nearby. Yeah, I guess I will. I could step by the other base and see how much stone we have there, but I'd rather keep all of that for crafting purposes. I can simply collect my own stone for building the base. It is an excessive amount of building anyway. It's going to be multiple floors, and if I just rely on the pals to get that ore for me, well, this is going to take multiple episodes to build. It's quite palpable that I collect at a much faster rate than they do. Since these basic stones also give five palladium fragments, and, well, the ore, which is pretty negligible, but the palladium fragments, that is a bit of a two birds, one stone scenario because we need many, many palladium fragments. And if I use the crusher, which I placed at my previous base, I can also convert five stones into one palladium fragment. So eventually stone will be, well, that much more important for automation purposes. And I believe that requires a pal with watering to make the crusher operate properly. We'll see as we move along. Have I learned how to make a stone foundation yet? I have not. Can I? What's this? What's happening? I'm being raided? <laughs> what is an empty base? <laughs> Why? Why would you raid me? Can I fly this yet? No? Damn. Wait, which one of these is the weak one? One of them sucks. The conceited one. No, don't cut the trees, you nerd. We're going this way. Toward the, the danger, obviously. Toko Toko. Mm. Neat. Ooh, luckily it's not too strong. They are quite beatable. See if I can catch them. Don't die. Don't do it to me. Where are you going? Running away from your friend? Stop. Get away from my base. Hey, hey, you. You're supposed to be captured. Don't do it. Oh, God, no balls. Balls. Oh, God, no, don't. Oh, he did it. Oh, the fire. I was just talking about the fire. Oh, the fire! It, I'm on fire. No, that's not appropriate. I can't be on fire. Ooh, a Vixie in, <laughs> in the distance. Not a good time to be excited, but I do love me a good Vixie or two. You're gonna be mine. Now, normally I would be a bit more upset about that entire series of events, but, well, there was nothing at that base. <laughs> so really, nothing gained, nothing lost. Where are you going? 
I need any and all Vixies that I come across. They're very necessary for this base. Also, I guess I'll take a Kremis. Those produce wool, which is pretty good. Oh, I see a Palsphere in the distance. Starting to get pretty good at recognizing these. Crap, I've been distracted. We'll make our way back in a somewhat roundabout method. Only stopping for Vixies and maybe the boar. Here, Vixie, Vixie. No, fine. I see how it is. Is that an egg in the wall? Why is there an egg in the wall? I want it. It's mine now. My egg. You can't have it. Oh, okay. I just walked into seeing that destruction. <laughs> well, it didn't destroy the entire base. Maybe building with wood isn't so bad. Although I'm not going to bank on that theory. I absolutely put all of this away. It's very heavy. The only thing that's missing from this is being able to, say, right-click this and sort my inventory by the carry weight. But it doesn't seem like that's happening right now. Or put the wool away and the fiber. And I have another egg. Put that in there too. All right. We're still likely going to need more stone. Maybe I'll just make the outside. Oh, I didn't even learn the anger for it. Technology. Whatever. Rush or Rush or If I remember correctly, these can mine, potentially. We'll have to see how well they can do it. If they suck, we'll go back to just using our pickass. But if they're good, then, well, good? Metal chest definitely doing that. Anything for extra big storage. Mega shield. Yeah, I guess we'll learn the mega shield. And a mega glider. Easy enough. Couple bones, bit of claw. Stone structure set. I believe that's all we actually need. Yes, now we can build stone structures. Crazy, right? Here's what we'll do. We're going to make the outside ring, the rim of the base. What was that sound? It sounded like a chicken or something. Whatever. We're going to make the very outside of the base all stone. Because it's going to be holding the walls. Oh, my... My, <laughs> my pal box. <laughs> ah, crap. Well, I gotta build that again. Pick this crap up. <laughs> Whoopsie. Now I have to take the stone out of the chest because it, uh oh, yeesh. Bit of an accident. Nothing too extreme. But we have to make this out of stone because it's going to be where the stability of the structure is maintained. The outside, the walls. We want to make sure that if the place catches fire, that it won't. Well, actually, it won't catch fire, because it'll be made of stone. I suppose it'll be more durable, too, so it's good for that reason. Always gotta be ready for those raids. Yeah. And then everything from here on out will be stone. I don't like that this is uneven. Get rid of it. And replace it with stone. And with what few foundations I've placed, I'm already getting a little low on stone. I'm gonna have to spend quite a bit of time farming that. But hey, it's all for the sake of progress. And... One more. And now we're out. Wonderful. Ah, we never placed down the pal thing. The pal box. The box. I need more stone, of course. Pal box. Let's get as close to the chest as possible. There we go. Yeah. Now the Lee's punk. Help me a little bit with this. Never hurts to have a helping head. A couple friends to do your work for you. Now that that is set up, I think we still only have about a hundred stone in the base. We're gonna have to go get more. Yeah, we are. I want this to go all the way to the edge, which appears to be... I uh, can see the blue ring right around there. Oh, what the... Really misplaced that one. Get this. And then I think we'll go back one more layer. What in the world? <laughs> I keep misplacing them. This should be the last layer in terms of going back in this direction. Now I have to get rid of all these trees. See if we can get the deer to help us. Go deer. Actually, I think the first one has conceded, which makes him better at working and worse at combat, which is fine. So he and I are going to take out the rest of this wood, and then we'll get back to building the walls here. Which I guess we could make the walls only partially out of stone, maybe just the corners. It's all based on how bad the raids get. I don't know how dangerous they really are. Also, I was just swinging my axe at air. <laughs> I mean, the deer is trying his damnedest, but I mean... <laughs> Wait, why'd you stop? The tree's still there. I've taken out almost four trees in the time that he's been working on that one. <laughs> Not exactly efficient, are they? It's probably good to be getting this fiber resource, because I don't know any other way to get it. Other than that crusher thing. And that's probably not worth it, considering how easy it is to cut down trees compared to cutting up a rock. Or picking a rock. Oh, there's another one? Oh, he found it. Wow. 
go ahead and eliminate that. We are going to have to go and get more stone. A bit of a farming episode. Now, let's be honest, most of my episodes are f farming episodes. Eventually, they all devolve into that. But hey, it is what it is. Never claimed to be a high-octane <laughs> activity kind of channel. I just play survival games. And if you've played enough survival games, you know that a lot of time is spent doing things like this. Not much you can do about it. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should cut down these ones on the edge. Because while the tree itself might not be in the way, I think that those bushes at the end can get in the way. So let's take this one out. There we go. Now we dump the wood that we have, and we're going to have to look for some stone. We're not going to have enough for our project here. Definitely not. Before we do that, though, nah. Now I kind of want to finish up the build first. It says that the deer is logging, but he's just standing on the corner confused. Liar. See if we have enough just to get the beginnings of the second floor. We'll go up to, like so, and begin roofs. Where are oh. Over here, okay. It's a weird setup. Foundations and walls with the wood, and then the roofs over on a different slot? Oh, okay, you say so. The ro oh, I can actually see the moon moving. Very interesting. Well, I guess we have to make a way up, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. Start by putting down walls so the pals won't walk themselves off of the base. Because they might actually do that. You never know. Like... So, walls set up. Wonderful. Now let's get some stairs going. We can. Oh, I'm gonna have to connect it to a roof. Similar to how Ark's building system works, it's very wonky. Like that. Then we have stairs. Like so. Come on, connect. There you go. Good stairs. Who's a good little stair? You are. You are. Don't mind me. I, I just... Inanimate objects. They're my friends. Am I? Oh, I'm out of stone. Damn. <laughs> I should have known that was coming. I did, actually. I'm pretty sure I mentioned before I started building. Anyway, let's get some more stone. It's very dark. Where's my torch? Put the spear away for now. Equip the torch. Because it's dark as hell. I'm sure there's rocks around here somewhere. Let's ride the deer. It's a little faster. By a little, I mean a lot. Think he moves almost two times the speed I do? Yeah. Ooh, another pal sphere. Love that these things are just lying around on the ground. All right. Take apart this rock. We'll probably try to collect hmm, about 300. Should be enough for another full layer of, well, the second floor. Another floor, not layer. Also, I'm hungry again. Damn, this character is a fat ass. But again, when your diet entirely consists of berries, I suppose there is <laughs> not much nutritional value there. You're going to want to eat constantly. Is there any stone down this way? I'd really like to come across some more. No, not ore. I don't need that crap. I need stone. Or maybe a Vixie. That'd do too. What's that? Oh, Depresso. Do I have ten of these things yet? I feel like I should. Well, if we don't, we're about to have another one. Oh, another Palsphere. Cool. Oop, that's the attack button. That's the pickup button. Okay, we have about five Depressos. We need five more. There we go. Took long enough to find a single stone. Ore. Vein. Node. I have to wonder exactly where the Vixies spawn. Actually... No, I don't have to wonder. I can check. Now that this rock is gone, if I look in the PAL deck, I can click this habitat button right here where my mouse is, and it shows me most of the spawn points of this particular creature. So I just need to find out where the Vixie is. Right here. It is, well, basically just where I am. That's, <laughs> that's the Vixie spawn points. Interesting. Suppose we'll take what we've got so far and bring it back to the base. Oh, no, nah, that's a lift monk. I think I have plenty of those. Do I? Hmm. Sure, we'll take it. Why not? Hey, where are you going? Stop running from me. Who do, you, who do you think you are? Some kind of running thing? Stop it. Catch. 67%. Hmm. I think we got it. No? Damn. I don't like these specifically because they run. 71%? Come on. That's practically 100. Now it is 100. My lift monk. No one else can have it. I picked up another skill fruit. Awesome. Uh, the only way I left <laughs> to get... To get back in is to just climb up. That one couth. Gotta storm the walls in order to get back home. 
Well, we can't all be perfect. And we can begin some of the building process at least. Start this second floor. For those of you who don't know, the structural support in this game is interesting. You can have a single wall, like I have over here, that corner basically, and as long as there's foundations underneath, you can build off of that wall all the way to the end of these foundations. You can just keep going forever. It's pretty neat, and we'll see more of it in the next episode. This has been episode 9 of the Pal World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.